Hi everyone, nice to see you on my channel today. You can't see me at the moment, instead you see what I bought at two different flea markets. I bought two identical oil lanterns, former ship position lights. I want to do quick conversions to LED, so I have no grease, no oil, no flame, but with a nice flame effect. Let's jump right in. All right, to remove that paint, I tried really every kind of paint remover I had, but this Jena made in Germany glass, I really couldn't remove the color. So what I tried is a kind of sanding and I will do that as um, I do not have a clear glass at the end. That's the only possibility for me to have it. You can order, still order this kind of glasses, but I want to have the old one. Okay, let's stop here a moment. As you see, this is the inner part of this um, flame bulb. And if you connect these both ends to grid as they are in this connector, this makes grid power to forward a direct current. And as we want to power this with a battery or USB, you just need, you just don't need this little a circuit so you can remove all that and everything we need is this little plastic with the LEDs on top and the circuits down here. This is everything we need, the rest we remove. Alright, this is now the whole thing. Um, we do not need the circuit board, we just cut it and connect it to four walls. <laughs> So how far are we now? Um, I have this lantern and this is a ring. Uh, I will show you something. I thought I bought two absolutely identical lanterns, but in this lantern there was this distance ring still available here, this one, and this was, wasn't was on that one. So to, to bring the light bulb afterwards in place, I need this ring to maintain the distance yeah, but if it is painted um, yellow, I think nobody will notice, will ever notice. So the other thing is we cut the tank. I made this little angles um, and I attached a magnet to that piece so that 
so that I can just bring the tank aside and it will hold and nobody will ever see that this is cut. Other than that, this is my holder for the battery. This will be my battery, you know, and this is a, just a tube with a tube holder, usually for mounting it on the wall. But in that case, it's just that it holds the battery. I will mount that now with a little screw through that hole. So this will then hold the battery holder itself. I will screw that on. And I already brought in my light bulb and um, yeah, I will build everything together. And this will be the switch. And the switch will find its place in the fueling or refuel opening that will fit in here. I will make a washer for that as well. And uh, the normal lid for these thing, I have to drill down here so that this fits in and it's everything is tight um, and sealed so that I can stay outside without getting flushed by rainwater. All right, just um, a quick test as my paint is drying. I just want to show you how far the electronics is now. I connect all that stuff to my little power supply. Um, yeah, and set it to four volts. So this is how it looks like now. I hope on camera we can see that. Wait a minute, I can give it a bit more shadow. So this is, is pretty good. Um, but just as a reminder, um, I brought the original diffuser of the lamp in here as well and hot glued that in place because only the glass won't cover that these are single LEDs so you need the diffuser of the of the lamp itself just to to give it the right the right look I would say so that you can better see how this will look at the end and I think this is pretty good all right, this now is a um, step down converter. It's a very simple and cheap part. Uh, cost a buck or two. And what it does is that it uh, transforms or set down, step down every direct um, current you put in here to a lower state. So if I enter with 12 volt, I can adjust here this little screw and set it to a voltage I want to have. Yeah, what I just want to do is enter it with 12 volts and adjust that we have four. So I'm going in with 9.8 here. Wait a minute, we will just set that down. And as you can see here, Oh, wait a minute, I will place it a bit better so that you can see here on the multimeter here on that side that we going going down almost there. Okay, that's good enough. 4.03 and uh, I will change the, the voltage on that side a bit. And as you can see, as I'm on seven, it stays on four. If I go to nine volts, it also stays on four. Okay, the electric is nearly done. So this is my circuit board. On that um, threaded rod, I mounted a little wood plate. This is laminated wood. I need that to give the circuit board a place to live. And then the switch is connected and on this side the battery will, will connect and the rest goes down here. So yeah, we are nearly there. Nearly there!
So all right, here is now our finished product. I will, I will focus on that flame bulb, yes. And this is where we started. Oil light, LED conversion with flame effect. Very easy, nice Halloween decoration as well, but we used it as it is in the garden and around the house. Yeah, easy thing to do, flame bulb, step down converter power source. That's pretty much everything you need. If you have any questions for details of the project, let me know, I will return. If you like that project, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends and hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel so that we see us again. I hope I see you again. Happy crafting.